We're actually optimizing aerodynamics for that downswing motion of the caudal closing at impact. And that's really what this asymmetric shape is all about. So that's the same on SIM and SIM Max. We build on the same platform, but there are some interesting differences on this one. Like you said, we don't have the, the sliding weight track on this one, and we take that discretionary weight and put it all the way back here. So that's increasing MOI even more, making this a super forgiving product really for a lot of golfers. You can see it on a tour, but obviously for the amateur golfer, that's gonna be big benefits on miss hits and that sort of thing as well. Uh, and the face is a little larger in this one too. So the max is a slightly larger face, again, to allow for a little bit more playability for that guy who isn't gonna hit center face quite as often. And we'll also go one step further with the max. There's a D model as well this year. Uh, for a large percent of the population, the D model can help them. Well, yeah, and I think, you know, over the years we've introduced that D type driver and then four and the M6 models, and that share of our sales has been growing. We know people fit into that product. We know a lot of people struggle with the slice with the driver particularly. Uh, and, and here we have the new uh, Sim Max D. And one of the cool things about this driver is, is we've been able to expand the face even more on this. So it's got an even larger face than, than we're used to seeing on, on our drivers. And again, the golfer that this typically fits needs more help in terms of having a larger speed spot, as big a face as possible, while still retaining all those other technologies in the club. And, and it's going to produce between sort of 10 and 20 yards of draw bias, depending on the play 